Right, so I was just asking which deck to go to again, and I didn't have the Archangel deck out, and um, I was just told the Archangel deck is being a bit neglected. There's something in the Archangel deck for you today. So I'm going to shuffle these ones for Wednesday the 19th of December. There you go, that's it. Healthy lifestyle. Okay, great. So we're coming up to the holiday season, and right, this is what I'm. <laughs> okay, what I'm feeling is it's important to remind people that. Um, okay, but no one's asking you to be perfect. Have fun. Have a good time. Just be aware of those uh, ways that you might sometimes overindulge. Remember that we are trying to keep a very clear frequency, and even if we don't all have the perfect diet, perfect raw food, whole food, organic, um, natural, high frequency diet all the time, just be aware of the other things that you put into your body that might lower your frequency, especially as we're coming up to the 21st and um, we really want to keep our energy as clear and bright as possible. And then, yeah, you can go crazy on the 22nd. <laughs> no, I'm I'm joking. I think really the point here is to have awareness, really, and if you've decided that you consciously want to create this new frequency, or rather to add to the enhancement and the amplification of this new frequency, just have awareness that um, although singing and dancing and being in a great energy and raising your frequency in those joyful, happy ways are wonderful things to be doing, Sometimes the intoxicants and the overeating and the other stimulants that go with this season are not necessarily in the best interest. <laughs> I love the way they put things. In the best interest of creating that frequency and moving you through at an accelerated pace into that um, finer dimension of consciousness. So that's it. Healthy living, healthy lifestyle. And I'm going to look at this quickly for the new year because someone's just said to me, talk about January. I'll read the card. It's Archangel Raphael's card. Archangel Raphael is telling me I'm going to have a very strong presence in 2013. I'm going to be, a lot of people are very co much connecting with Archangel Michael because they've needed that energy for their life purpose, to have courage to go forward. They've needed a lot of energetic protection with all of this stuff that's been going on. That does change, as we can already feel it changing because these energies are becoming the, the higher, lighter, more loving, dynamic, uh, divine frequencies are becoming more powerful. So it's not to say that we don't need protection. I'll still be teaching psychic protection, energetic uh, shielding to my clients and students because I think sensitive empaths and healers for the time being still need to practice to be, you know, sensible. I have my reasons. <laughs> um, and But Archangel Raphael is saying, I'm going to come in a lot stronger next year and I'm going to be encouraging people to really understand the connection between the body and the spirit and how you can become a clearer channel for spirit by looking after your body. That's really interesting. I'm also going to be bringing in some very dynamic healing for the heart to clear any of the blocks that are preventing you from seeing a brighter future because you've lost faith in your heart because of any personal disappointment you've experienced in this or other lifetimes. So it's going to be on a big clean-up campaign. That sounds lovely. And I love all this lovely clean green in the card as well. That really, this is a really inspired card. And I love the gold as well. So I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be nice to hear more from Archangel Raphael as well. And... Um, Yes, there'll be more angels and guides making their presence felt in the years and decades to come. Absolutely they will. It's going to be very surprising for a lot of us. So, that's it for Wednesday. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great Wednesday. Bye.
Oh, 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 oh,